Hi and welcome to the Artful Coder. In this video I'm going to show you how to download PHP and configure this to work with IIS using fast CGI. Now what you're going to want to do is to get PHP is go to windows.php.net forward slash downloads. So you get a couple of options when you visit this page. You've got non thread safe and thread safe. Now there is a debate saying that should you use either, but I think just go for the non thread safe uh, for now. So we'll do a zip. That's going to download. And there's a few things we'll need to configure in IIS as well to get this to work, but it is a very useful little tool as well. So we've got that downloaded. So let's just do open. And this is what I've got here. So if we just do extract all, so use a standard Windows 11, what we're going to do is just for now, because I don't have a secondary drive set up, which I'd recommend in some sense of secondary drive. So let's go to the root folder. Ideally, you'd want to put this in a different directory, but just for demonstration purposes. So what you want to do is let's let's just cancel. Let's extract here. There's a reason why. Because if you extract the file with the file name, with you'll get like this extra PHP 8.2. And it's very messy on how you have to configure different PHP versions. So let's just do this for a minute, and then I'll show you a better way to do this. So just going to extract this, going to put it in the downloads. And then what we got is we're going to want to copy. So this is PHP files. And what you'll see is this is what you'll need for IIS, which is PHP fast uh, CGI. So if we do control A, control C, so these are shortcuts. Go to this PC, C drive, do right click, new folder and call it php now there's a reason why you call it php because if you want to swap versions out quite quickly without having to mess about the iis and all of that as well you can do this so the next thing you want to do is once you create your folder you can literally just paste the contents of php in there you go so php effectively is existing on the pc so now what we need is a couple of things you need to do as well so what we need to do next is we need to get iis to see this so if we go to iis and go to server and we've got fast cgi settings this is server level so server led level setting add application so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to here, do PHP, and you're looking for that. Okay. So let's see what happens. So that's going to add to the CGI, and I think the arguments is we'll play about this dot p. No, it's not in here. Excuse me. So click OK. That's now added PHP linked. It's not going to quite work yet. So what I just wanted to point out is I did that quite quickly. Is what you'll have to configure is the different options on here, like how long the query length is, how many instances, because in a growing system, you may have many instances. So it's case of just playing about with these. So. The other thing you will need to do is if it's on here, where is it? Default document. Now for the server to see PHP files, say index.php, you're going to want to add this in. So this is so that when you go to your root directory and just type the site name, it knows what to pull up. So what you're going to want to do is say index and type index.php. And that is now classed as a default document. So in theory, if you had that file in there, you could get it to go in. So the other thing we need to do is go to environment variables. 
And what we have to do is we have to go in variable variables in here, path. Now what we're going to want to do is add to the path in here. So this is user. So that's logged in to do edit. And what you want to do is add a new directory. The reason for this is then the system can fully see PHP. So what we're going to do is we've got a PHP directory here. So copy this directory here. And then you want to add this as a new line in there. Now in your system, you it will now see PHP. So that's done that. You don't need to restart. So then what we've got here is we've got that figure there. Let's just see. Is it under here? Just got to remember. Ah, hang on, hang on. No, just remember. I think it's handler mappings. Here we go. So I think it's a managed handler. What I've done this, let's have a look. Type. No, I th let's have a look. It's not all those. I do apologize. I think it's a module mapping. Module. Here we go. So what you want to do is you want to go to handler mapping. So what this is going to do is this is going to say when I have a PHP file, whether you use redirect or anything like that, it's going to pass it over to PHP. Now it's important that you set a handler mapping up to do this. So if we do star dot PHP, you don't need to supply that because we've linked it in fast CGI and just call it PHP and request restrictions. So access. So there's different things here. So if it's a script execute, you'll have to play about those, but that means can it read? Can it write? Is it just execute only? Okay. Oh, should be an exe file. Oh, okay, it's going to want an exe file. So in theory, what we've got to do is point it, drop that down. It's the you have to do. So let's do that. Okay. Yes, you do. There you go. So it's now done a fast CGI module of that. So it's disabled this one, which we played about with to get it to work. Lots of CGI module. So that, as far as I know, should be all we need to do. So what I'm going to do next is just to check this is working. This is from the previous video. Let's get a notepad file. Let's see. We'll test it now. So if you know, oh, okay, okay. Notepad's loaded up previous from there. So let's create a sample PHP. Uh, let's just do this and do echo. This is so we can tell if it's working. Well, now, a lot of people have used that, so make sure your syntax is correct. Save that, so Control and S. Because the C drive is protected, just put it somewhere where you can find it. So let's change the type to all and go to index.php okay so then what you need to do is go into your desktop so if we go up here php and do desktop and what we're going to do is copy this into our site route into the site we set up in the previous video so go to c inet pub again you can move the secondary drive so there's a site Continue, it's going to open permissions. Okay, so shall we test this? There you go. So that is now IIS configured with PHP. And as you can see, that is just some PHP samples. So it's working. You could even change this to, I think it's echo PHP info. Let's have a look. Let's do that there. Do save. We're going to need to copy it back from our document again. Now, just always think about security when you're doing this. Don't think, oh, I'll put it in a C drive because, or in a certain drive, and uh, and it's not it's not protected or it's causing problems. 
sometimes it's best to go the most secure options it may be well worth allowing windows to handle some of the security on it so let's just paste this in here do care site let's do replace i just want to see if this is going to work continue and again because we've got let's just do that there you go so this is now the php info it's going to tell you all about you install php and you haven't had to restart iis it just handles it so in this video we've covered installing php with iis and again if you want to downgrade your version of php because i've done it this way with just the name php folder you could effectively hot swap them out with a bit of debt a couple of seconds you could have php 7 rename the folders you don't have to restart anything it will just work so remember your environment variables fast cgi handler mappings and put php somewhere that it can see it so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and hopefully more videos to come